Well, that's how we'll start this thing. I'm Brett, and this is Ed. Hello, hello, hello. And we are here at moreguitars.com, and we've got some, uh, the latest and greatest as of now for the uh, PRS SE acoustic line in the Tonari flavor. Correct? Tonari, Tonari, yes. You know what a Tonari means? Tell me. It means boom in Italian. <laughs> I know. Like, Boom? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tanari means boom. That's cool. At least in English. Right. Does, the, do the, does these boom? Do these boom, you feel? No, but I'm wondering what boom means in Italian. Tanari. <laughs> so anyway, this is the, these are the Tanari flavor. So this is a grand guitar, a larger box than the Angelus, correct? That is indeed correct. They, they do sound wonderful. Great guitars. Yeah, and Great. frankly, I'm going to be frank for a minute. Hello, I'm Frank. Um, the first renderings that they put out of ESE acoustics weren't all that great years ago. And I feel like they finally, these are great. The Angelus and the Tonaris are great now. The early ones, they were kind of cutting their teeth and weren't so good. There was a valiant effort. <laughs> it was indeed. Yeah. They were great guitars, but these are better. They really are. They are. They've got it and dialed in. And you then, know, I mean, I, I wasn't the best skateboarder. Yeah. But, but I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't skateboard. Anyway, um, so the deal is, is that there is a TX20 and a T40 and a T50, all with electronics. There's an E on the end of those, right? So TX, 20E, T, 40E, T, 50E. That's correct. That's correct. And let's do the woods first, and then we'll keep going deeper into the guitar. Sure. So this is the 20, and it does feature a solid Sitka spruce top and mahogany back and sides. Uh, this guitar has your traditional X bracing underneath it, and that is the X de designation in this model. Um, Sonorous, rich, and boom. Yeah, boom. So the, the TX20 also is it to keep, you know, obviously it's a cost effective measure is to, there's no purfling. It's a simple black binding with a white, a very white, thin white strip. The rosette is very simple. Um, Mahogany neck, ebony board, right? That's right, that's right. And bone, saddle, and nut, which is really that's nice. That's pretty you know, cool, yeah. Yeah, for a guitar, you know. Yeah. It's hard to work with bone. Yeah. I mean, it's an ideal material and traditional, and that's really what this thing represents, you know. Yeah. Simplicity and design and, and uh, tradition. Yes, tradition. Let's go to the 40. I'm going to have you change because I am plugged in. Okay. I don't know if this is tuned. We may have to take a moment to tune. So this is the T20, or sorry, T40E, and you take the X out because of a very important reason, and it's the hybrid bracing, which is an X along with a classical, right? Right. Can you explain a little more of that? Yes. Ladder bracing was the really the, the original bracing pattern for guitars, like classical guitars or gut string guitars, and you know this innovation with the X bracing is... Uh, you know, coupled with the more traditional ladder bracing, and it's a hybrid bracing pattern that Paul has come up with. And it, the idea is to allow the top to resonate as freely as possible, and uh, it works. It, it does. works well. So this guitar sports a oven coal back and sides, am I correct? Oven coal back and sides, that's right, that's and right. Sit, solid Sitka spruce top, Indeed. mahogany neck, ebony board, Right. And it's a, these have what they call a wide fat neck. Mm -hmm. So um, 
it's kind of an electric guitar feel. It's very comfortable. You know, that's one of Taylor's things is that it feels really comfortable going from an electric to a Taylor. And they've, it's kind of the same thing with this. Absolutely. You know, it feels good to, it doesn't feel like you're going from this electric guitar that's, you know, you've been playing the whole gig and then you got to pick up this for James Taylor song or something <laughs> in the middle of your heavy metal set. And you got to change your complete feel. You know, it, it's comfortable where you can go on from electric to acoustic. I think it's, I think they're great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, so that, that uh, a wide fat neck means at, at, at the nut, it's an inch and 11 sixteenths. I know a lot of people when they're shopping for acoustics, they really focus on the, the nut width. They want to know, you know nut width. The string spacing. So yeah. inch and 11 sixteenths is, uh, is a very standard size. Um, I would be scared. I think that's 1.675 if you were in in European numbers, um, the metric system. Yeah. Something like that. It's a shade under, I think it's whatever, something like that. It's less than an inch and three quarter, 1.75. So I think that's right. 1.6875, we'll call it that. So anyway, the, uh, the upgrade, on that guitar also aesthetically is you go with the white binding and then it's the um, the tiger, tiger acrylic. Tiger acrylic purfling. Purfling. Very, yeah. very lovely, lovely. Classy. A little bit flashy, but a little but very classy. It very it complements the the Oven Cole back, I think, and the sides, which you can't see the back and the purfling at the same time, but you can see the side in the purfling. So why why not put it on there? So and it uh, they also incorporated in the rosette as you would see there, my friends from YouTube land. So on to what I'm holding, and this is the T50E. This also sports the um, the hybrid bracing. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Um, and but the 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 aesthetics about this are this is abalone purfling, not baloney, abalone. I'm hungry, but not for that. So this also in the rosette. But the coolest thing is the maple back and sides. And it's flamed. You can see the flamage. flamage. So very cool. And this got this beauty going down the middle, which is really a nice touch. You know, a lot of times when you're playing a guitar, you don't get to see all the pretty stuff. Well, at least you can kind of see that. Yeah. Everybody else gets to see the, the beauty. <clears throat> but it is a solid Sitka spruce top, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard. And again, all three of these models are the same depth, which I believe is four and three eighths. And uh, the neck is a wide fat neck on all of them, an inch and 11 sixteenths nut. Um, so I think that's, uh, they're PRS design tuners. They obviously can't uh, have American made tuners on these because the cost would go through the roof, but they are designed by PRS. They are amazingly stable we've been playing these things for an hour now trying to like just while larry's busting his ass to get set up and uh we haven't tuned very much so strum a couple um, chords on that one strum yeah, stronger in my old age. Dad strength. Oh, dad strength. You're taking me to Rivendell, man. Yeah. <laughs> Gryffindor? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My kid's all about Harry Potter right now and it's wearing me out, so on my brain so is there anything else we need to talk about these jewels just that they're available here at more music here in evansville indiana and moreguitars.com and uh as ever let us know in the comments uh, what do you think of the guitars if you have any questions at all reach out send a raven 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> call us, email us. You know, we love talking about this stuff. So. Yeah. Call, chat, email. We, you can get the phone number off the website. Um, I don't have it memorized as usual, but uh, we would love for you to stop by the store or stop by the website, chat with us. Rob is always available, and then we are the backup for Rob. So um, we would love to hear from you. These are amazing guitars for the price, and uh, we are very happy to have them here. Mm -hmm. So we are happy Indeed. that you are watching. So we are done. This is Ed. I'm Brett. Goodbye. MoreGuitars.com. <laughs>